Hey guys, happy Monday. It's me and today we are going to do, I'm so excited for this, we are going to do a little bit of a haul and a little bit of a mature makeup tutorial. Went to Walmart yesterday and I actually had the best time. It wasn't even that crowded and I just cruised up and down the aisles, I mean all over the whole store. This is in partnership with Walmart. When they asked me, it was like Yay! So I went the next day and I did lots of good shopping. I'm going to show you, first of all, I'm going to kind of, I've got a whole pile of stuff here. This video is not really going to be planned out. I'm just going to, it's going to be us sitting down talking. But the first thing I'm going to do, I've already washed my face. I've already moisturized. But I'm going to take my Wow color. I'm going to tidy up my part where I think I've got many many grays for one thing especially like right there and this stuff is real good about like you can kind of follow the gray hair down <laughs> just kind of I like to just take this right along my hairline right here and cover those grays and make it look thicker I think if you are not doing this, you are missing out unless you are blessed with a thick, thick head of hair. And even if you are, just like the sides and stuff, when you are putting your hair back, it looks so much prettier. Like if you'll take this and just fill in that side like that. So this is one of my key can't go without, would be lost, would go straight to the store if I lost it products. Let's talk about my hair. I'll take it down for just a minute. Okay, I wanted to try some of the things that you guys have told me about. Some of you that have curly hair like I do, mine is more of a, I mean, it will get curly, but this is, it's just more like a natural wave, which I love that. I just think that's so pretty. It's so much shinier and stuff when you just let it air dry. To try some things that you guys have told me to try. And last night, I tried... Which one of these did I try? Okay, let's start off with I washed my hair, and then I tried this. It's the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Marula Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This brand, a lot of people really love this brand. Used, you know, a good scoop in my hand and it smells and feels so good it's not overly heavy it's just very very natural smelling and it's supposed to be really good at conditioning and smoothing your hair out i think i got some on my face because that was pretty intense and i could tell it really moisturized this is something else i got i had been wanting a brush i could actually use in the shower my other wet brush is not meant for the shower so i saw this and bought this and i loved it it was so much better than a comb i used i did i pumped enough for it to cover just like this much of my hand and i just worked it all in and kind of scrunched it and here we are now it has a little bit of crunchiness to it so i would probably just use less and what I would probably do next time is just use it more strategically because usually I usually this is always going to curl and look good. It's the top layer that's so fried, dyed, and laid to the side. That's the part that doesn't want to curl. So that's what I would do next time. One of you told me that you love this. It is the Pantene Mousse Curl. Tames Frizz for a soft, touchable curls. So I will use that next time and then you'll be able to see what it looks like. I am going to... I'm gonna see how much lighter this is, if any. Yep, see it's lighter. So I'm going to maybe get a little bit of this lighter color worked in my sponge. And yes, and brighten that up a little bit. There's rarely anything you can't fix when you are putting your makeup on. So don't settle. Like if you don't like your makeup, do something about it. Don't spend all day not liking your makeup. It will 
It will drag you down whether you know it or not. I would rather have no makeup on than makeup I hated. Okay, much better, much better. If you can go without setting it, then do that. Like if you know you're, you have like drier skin and you don't need powder, go without powder. Okay, so we've got our foundation and base on. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and just run through here a little bit because I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to do anything. I'll probably do it just a little bit with my eyebrows, but not a lot. Okay, so I grabbed a bunch of stuff for us to play with. I grabbed some of the NYX Shadow Sticks. I grabbed this multi-stick from Wet n Wild. I grabbed this. I looked and looked and looked at all the different and the new you know, palettes that have come out and new everything, and I wanted to find something good for fall. And this one, True Naked Dreamland. This blush, which you guys know, Milani Luminoso is my all-time favorite Walmart bl blush, but I do like this one, too. I've shown you this before. It's the Alme, um, it's something nude, Nearly Nude gorgeous gorgeous blush butter bronzer I have I have a powder okay and then I just went off on the lips so we may do let's go ahead and do a lip combo now so we can change it if we want to okay this lip liner you guys know I love Rimmel lip liners and I love tiramisu but this one cafe au latte cafe au lait it's cafe au lait it is a little bit darker and it really does give that kind of 90s supermodel vibe so I have this one I did get another sandstorm suede matte by NYX I mean a fabulous lip liner I got one of these stay matte liquid lip colors because in the fall and winter for some reason I like a more of a lip you know what I mean like a built up lip so you don't have to keep it matte you can put some gloss over it but they last a long time Okay, this, what a classic. If you do not have number 430 from Revlon Soft Silver Rose, you are missing out. What a fabulous color. I like this metallic ultra matte Revlon in Gleam. I think I've had this before, but I grabbed it just in case I couldn't find it. Then I grabbed two of these. You guys know I love these. I have many, many backups of the Shining Peach, which is my favorite. But I thought maybe I need to show them Sparkling Rose. That's another good one. This is, this one has a little bit of shimmer. It's the Mulberry Plump. This version is supposed to be plumping. So what I'm going to do is start off with the lightest. We're going to take it, take your pencil, make sure it's sharpened. As we get older and mature, our lips, I've always had full lips, but you know they lose volume and they become uneven. Like you can see, I think this side is a little bigger than this side, it's a different shape. So take your lip liner on its side and go right along. Don't, don't sell yourself short. Get all the real estate you can. Go ahead and go on that very, you can almost feel it more than you can see it, that very outer edge. And I like to come from the out and come in because that gives you a fuller effect. If you, it's natural that if you come down, it's just, you're coming down. You always want to go up. Okay, so it gives you a good neutral lip line. And then let's use this Stay Matte, and the color is Be My Baby. Okay, very, very, very neutral peachy. So let's leave this on just for a little bit, then we'll go to another one. To try these sticks. 
and see what kind of look we can get with these and if they don't turn out well then we'll go to the shadow one reason I like these sticks is they're quick and easy and they're not dry looking okay so I would come all the way in here oh this is a good color yes see that so you're recreating that shadow that is a really really good color okay so I just kind of follow my that bone orbital bone or whatever it is don't come down too far we don't want to drag our eyes down especially me because my eyes go down anyway and there's nothing wrong with celebrating whatever shape your eyes are it makes you different but I don't want to celebrate them going even more down when I got older you know what I mean okay so I'm gonna keep that there and I'm not gonna put anything under my eyes just because I already have a prominent lower lid and I don't want to drag my eyes down but if you like to put that some you know things underneath your eyes that's fine but I really find that when you get older or mature and you're lift wanting to lift 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 and not call attention to wrinkles and smile lines it's like I said it's best not to put anything down there this one from NYX is it's kind of like a little shimmery one that I was going to use on the sparkle nude we're going to use it on the inner corner if I can get it open and put it right here and this color is pretty I'm gonna take it a little bit like probably about two-thirds of the way okay like that that's just okay let's see I probably have to go over this with the um, with the eyeshadow because it's probably not gonna be enough for me but it might be enough for some of you I like a glam look and I think you can wear whatever makeup you want to the thing is being true to yourself of what you really like no matter what people tell you so I am going to kind of angle this up like I do and create that outer darkness like that this is what I usually do right here I'll take it angled up towards the end of the brow and I'll take it across like that this may be enough for most days but I feel like we should put this over it and try a little bit of this too new liner I saw this little package and I thought, well, I'll try this little gimmicky wing liner thing, and then I'll give that to my niece. So we're going to try this, too. I have an e.l.f. one in here that I like. It is a good little brush, yes. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start off with this lightest color, and let's, let's redo this inner corner. Yes. See the difference? every time I do the inner corner I always to me it gives me Victoria's Secret model vibes they always had a bright inner corner like that the next color I'm gonna do hmm I kinda wanna get kinda that vibe right there in that kind of um, I don't know how to say what color that is work it in my brush I'm gonna start here at the end like that I kind of find out you know what how pigmented it's going to be first before I start going all around with it so I'm going to keep this at the end and work it up like that to lift my eyes that is pretty as soon as I saw this little palette I knew I'd like it it's that kind of um, 
brownie purpley tone that I like so much. Brownie rosy tone like that. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb here and take a little bit of this right here on the edge. Not underneath my eye, but just to connect the bottom to the top. And you're watching where I'm putting it and watch how much it makes the whole bottom of my eye look like I've got something on there. Wow, that is so pretty. Now I'm going to go into the color that I skipped a little bit on the end of the brush. I'm going to tap it off. And now I'm going to lightly bring that in here. Like this. Sometimes you don't even, you won't even see that when you look at me until I put it on. But it just kind of carved out that whole shape of my eye. And then I'm going to go into this last darkest color, tap it off. I'm going to just go here at the lash line. And just in this outer corner, always going up. the very end of my eye everything I'm doing is to lift lift my eyes and I like have a big space for my eyes but my eyes aren't really big so it makes a big difference for me to carry things out it makes my eyes look double the size so that's why I like doing all of this okay now, if you wanted to just go in with a shadow for a liner, if you wanted to just go in with mascara, that is up to you. But one of the reasons I love my wing liner is because it lifts my eyes. The same with lashes. Now, today I didn't bring lashes out here because I'm just going to see how it goes. Step one, position the part of the stencil out the, at the outer edge of the eye. Lay flat to skin. Oh. Fill in the stencil. Okay, you guys. Why would I do that? One thing you can do, I'm not going to do that. I, I feel like that's going to sabotage you. I feel like you could, I'm going to pull this in a little bit closer. If you wanted to, you could use this stencil to do like that. But... This is the best thing to do. Let me teach you. See how you've already got that line? Let Look ahead to make sure you're angling up. You never want to angle down. Sometimes I do like to come out more, but most of the time I angle up because I'm lifting my face. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm hoping I can get this out of your way, but I've got to be close. This eyeshadow is so beautiful. It is so pretty. Okay, see how my bone comes down so much? I need to go up on that bone just a little bit so that you can see it. Then I come back in and see how you have that wing right there and then fill it in. This is nice. I like this pen. Okay. Then I like to just kind of walk it and thin it out, thin it out, thin it out like that. So you can leave it like that if you want to. I try to just do minimal until I go to the other side because you might have to thicken things up as you go back and forth. So... And you may be saying, well, my eyes are different shapes. Everyone's eyes are different shapes. That's just the way it is. Don't think that you're messed up. If you look at people on, I'm going to go ahead and come down here just because I like this right here, kind of. Even if you look at people on Instagram or TV or something and they look like they have the perfect matching eyes, eyebrows, everything, it's because they've done probably done some tricks with their makeup or their makeup artist has or they photoshopped it okay 
you can see that I came up a little further on this one. So that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to have to even up this one. Okay. I really like this pen. Okay, and we are going to put on ah, lashes because I want to show you how I just use a little bit of my lash to do that. Okay, we need to do another lip and we need to do, I'm doing all, this all out of order just because I want to show you everything. Then we're going to do my face. I can't believe I've gone this long without contour and stuff. Okay, and really, I don't even know how much powder I'm going to need. Okay, so now let's do another lip combo. Let me show you this Cafe au lait. You're going to love it. Notice I'm doing it lightly because I know I've used this before, so I know that it's pretty pigmented. Okay, kind of work that in your lips because this is one that, I hate to say it doesn't last a long time, but it's kind of like Max Spice. It will kind of get into your lipstick a little bit. So you want to let that dry and kind of work it in your lips just for a few seconds and then put on your lipstick. Matter of fact, while that's sitting there for just a minute, we're going to do some butter bronzer. This one is the Deep. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Kind of a domey pointed brush. Get some on the end. Work it in your brush and first I do that. And then I take what's left and I always work it around my hairline. I have a high forehead and a my hairline, come, you know, naturally has that point of recession right there. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take some, work it in. I'm going to do my jawline. Kind of tighten that up, create that shadow underneath. This is a good bronzer. Then I bring it down my neck. Okay, now after I've already done that, sometimes I'll take the brush again and I'll kind of get some on it and a little bit on its side and I'll kind of come up a little bit on the tops of my cheeks like that and then I'm going to put a little bit on the end of my nose just to bring it up some then I'll go in usually with the same brush I'll go into my blush. We're going to try this one, which is the Maxi Blush from Rimmel. And the color is Third Base. <laughs> and so I'm going to get this on here and I'm going to go right on that cheekbone. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I think we're doing some supermodel vibes today with this, with a cooler tone brown. And then the lips, I think this is going to be mature supermodel look like that. A lot of this, you know, might go with the shape of your face, too. Mine is very angular, so I work it. If your face is more full, which I would love, then you might want to put your blush somewhere different. Do what you think looks best. And this is what I think looks best. Sometimes I might switch it up, but... Nine days out of ten, I would do this. We're going to try this Burt's Bees Mascara. And this is clean, clean makeup. You know how Burt's Bees is mindful. Some mascara. Ooh, good one. 
you guys, I never do that. It must be something about being out here that makes me do that. Okay, when you do this, let it dry. It, it will kill you, but just let it dry, and then I'll show you how to flick it off with the, um, the brow, the brow brush. Okay, try to ignore that, but look how pretty that mascara is. That is a good one. That is, at the end, I'm going to tell you all the things that I think you will like. I will never lie to you. I will never tell you to get something if I don't. 75, I mean, we all like different stuff. If I don't, 75% to 95% think that you will like it. I will not tell you to get something, but I think that you will like this mascara. If you like what I like, you like a thick lash. Now, I am going to go get my kiss lashes and then we will put those on and clean this up <laughs> okay i got a brow that i had too i showed you this in my last walmart video i think it's the i nyx powder brow in blonde i think we need some brows now what i like to do is i don't want a big old thick brow i like to just come on this i'm not extending it i'm just i am extending it on the end but not i'm not widening it I like a good old, I like thin brows, like that. I'm just, I'm just, just helping them out a little bit. I don't want them to be the focus. Like that. See how it just takes very little to make a difference. I like the front of them kind of sparse looking. And let's see if this is dried enough. It's going to make a liar out of me. Okay. It got me. So just the moral of the story here is don't do that. Okay. So now we've got these three left. Now we've got a soft silver rose. I want you to see that. I might just have to... Um, swatch this and show you how pretty it is there's just something so beautiful about this any of these soft silver colors but i have a feeling i'm going to like one of these other ones a little bit better for this look see how pretty it is this is so me old school it has just the perfect amount of luminosity and everything it's it's not a frost it's a pearl it is gorgeous you have to have that once in your life okay this is the sparkling rose mm, this formula of this lipstick is just to die for okay so we definitely got the 90s lip going on with the lip liner. We're going to let that work in just a minute. And we might switch it up. All lip combos are the best after you've changed them a few times. They say pay attention now to the look without lashes. And then watch how it lifts the eye when I take these Kiss lashes, which are not that much longer than my natural lashes. I cut three big clumps off the ends and so it ends up being like a, a, a half lash and what I do is I take this duo dark original I set the inside right there where my eye is coming curving out and I pull these up and set them down okay see how I didn't bring it all the way down to my lash I put it up a little bit higher like where my liner is now the only thing is getting this front part to go perfectly into your lashes which that was pretty good you have to find that sweet spot okay so you could leave it like that but what I typically do is I take my liner and I come right here and kind of blend that in like that 
See, isn't that pretty? I think it just adds so much more. And look at how much more lifted my eyes are than they were when we first started. Love this. Another thing I wholeheartedly recommend. Okay, now, one thing I wanted to do is to mess with my hair a little bit. This is what I do after, you know, when I wake up, I want to separate those curls, but you don't want to brush it. Like that. And if you wanted to brush the ends, you could. Okay, if you're feeling like, I feel like well, it might, might be a little bit shiny. I like this CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. Um, this is the Creamy Natural. You can take just a, take a fluffy powder brush, not anything that's too dense. Just a fluffy brush and just kind of maybe get your T-zone. Especially me, I have prominent little cheeks right there. My whole life I have it's just the shape of my face. And sometimes I like to get back there too. And now let's try one more lip before we end this party. Don't wipe it too hard. Just do like that. Just blot. I mean, every day when I get ready, you should see in the toilet, I have the toilet paper blots or the trash can. Okay, that lip liner, that was a good idea to let that set in for a few minutes. Okay, now let's use, do we want to use Mulberry Plump? I kind of want to do this light metallic. Perfect. Perfect. Smells good too. Smells like, kind of like candy. Okay, you guys. I think this is it. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. I've got on a t-shirt that I actually picked up at Walmart when I was there. It's in there like sporty type section. It's Avia, but I like it. I just think it's such a pretty cut and it's really nice and soft feeling i got the small and it's available in a bunch of colors but i knew this would be something that i would enjoy you know underneath things and i thought well i'm going to pull out those carpenter jeans i got from walmart in one of my fashion videos and they're too big but i put them on anyway just for you to see them and then my some of my favorite all-time shoes that i've gotten from walmart okay so i've got the shirt tucked in but the pants are big but I just wanted to show them to you. I'll probably give these to my mom or someone. And but I'm going to hold them tight. Something's, what's in the way? Oh, the mirror's in the way. Okay. I have loved these shoes from the moment I put them on. These are some pretty, pretty and comfortable wedges. If I don't even know if they still sell them. Okay, recap. Loved this. Liner. Where is that liner? Wonderful awesome this eyeshadow i love it i love it butter bronzer you know that's one of my favorites powder the nyx brow is good it's not it's not one of my favorite things here i love this blush the all may mascara good this lip good i know i love these any color you want of these you are going to love they're the best shining peach is my all-time favorite this, the soft silver rose, beautiful. This looks good over other colors too. And Cafe Olay, this lip liner and e.l.f. brush. The foundation was just okay. I would go for probably the other things and the hair brush and the conditioner. Definite favorites and I'll try the other curly stuff. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all, each one of you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tell your friends, and I will see you next time. And thanks again to Walmart for asking me to partner with them. I love it. I love these videos. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.